And now, your first alert five weather. It's been a hot day so far, and now we are seeing thunderstorms taking over southern Colorado. Where we could see these severe thunderstorms for today will be I-25 and the eastern plains, mostly into the plains east of I-25 this evening. We'll look at our hail threats of about 1 to 3 inches in diameter. We've got the potential for 70 mile per hour wind gusts, and we do have a tornado threat. Just now we had a tornado watch issued in our region, so let's get to those watches. Now the southeast corner of the state no longer under a severe thunderstorm warning because that has now gotten replaced with a tornado watch. So we have this tornado watch in effect till 8 o'clock. Same goes for that severe thunderstorm watch that you saw in pink. That's also till 8 o'clock. We have a couple of strong storms. They're pretty few and far between, but the storms that we do have today are quite strong. Uh, so this first storm I'm going to highlight here is moving out of Kiowa County. It's moving through Arlington at this moment, just kind of skirted by Haswell. So Highway 50, you might see this storm within the next hour. This severe thunderstorm warning extended into portions of Bent and a little bit of Otero County until 5 o'clock. This storm has the potential for tennis ball size hail in this immediate hail core here, this small section of the storm. It's moving south. Now, in terms of the other severe thunderstorm warning we have, we also have a flash flood warning in effect for portions of Los Animas and Baca County. The severe thunderstorm warning, our main threats here would be golf ball size hail, and the main area of this hail core is also moving southward towards Pritchett. So this is your heads up to get inside and get the cars into the garage. These two storms are going to be our main players through the early afternoon, but I am watching for more of a nighttime severe weather threat continuing today, and that would be more so actually focused towards I-25. So initially for the Springs and Pueblo, we're pretty calm here for the immediate afternoon hours, but we do have a chance for a couple thunderstorms after dark today, and then those storms will bring us our second round towards Highway 50 and into the southeastern plains, even lingering pretty late until maybe 1, 2 a.m. So after that, we're in for a calmer Friday. In the meantime, it's been a really hot day. We've seen a lot of 90s out there today. Some of us seeing some rain cooled air. Now by tonight, we'll be humid and dropping to the 50s and 60s. Eventually, that severe weather threat will die down. And then we're looking forward to a much calmer day on Friday, up to 86 in the Springs and 94 in Pueblo, uh, mostly 80s and 90s, another hot day, not looking quite at that high level severe weather threat. In fact, I have Friday dry for us. Our next change comes Saturday with a cool down with a cold front and that also brings us another chance of showers and thunderstorms trending non severe right now. After Saturday, the rest of your weekend is going to be hot. Sunday onward, we're back to the 90s. Then the middle of next week, reintroducing some thunderstorm chances. For Pueblo, we've got another hot day and drier tomorrow. Saturday is our change, back to the 80s and a chance of thunderstorms. But then the heat returns big time next week, triple digits from Monday through Wednesday. For Canyon City, we're also tracking a calmer Friday, still hot. And we've got the 80s in place for Saturday. That's our next cold front and cool down with thunderstorm chances before 100 on Monday. And for Woodland Park, we're tracking 70s for the next few days. Good chance of thunderstorms returning Saturday and then the middle of next week.